These are the forgeries of jealousy. And never since the middle summer's spring. Met we on hill, in dale, forest or mead. By paved fountain or by rushy brook. Or in the beached margin of the sea. To dance our ringlets to the whistling wind. But with thy brawls thou hast disturbed our sport. Therefore the winds, piping to us in vain, as in revenge have sucked up from the sea contagious fox. Which falling in the land hath every pelting river made so proud that they have overborne their continents. The ox hath therefore stretched his yoke in vain. The ploughman lost his sweat, and the green corn hath rotted ere his youth attained a beard. The fold stands empty in the drowned field, and the crows are fatted with the murrian flock. The nine men's morris is filled up with mud, and the quaint mazes <laughs> in the wanton green, for lack of tread, are undistinguishable. The human mortals want their winter cheer. No night is now with him all carol blessed. Therefore the moon, the governess of floods, pale in her anger washes all the air. That rheumatic diseases do abound. And thorough this distemperature we see, the seasons alter. Hoary-headed frosts lie in the fresh lap the crimson rose, and on old Hyam's thin and icy crown an odorous chaplet of sweet summer buds is as in mockery set. The spring, the summer, the childing autumn, angry winter, change their wanton livery. Amazed world by their increase now knows not which is which. And this same progeny of evils comes from our debate from our dissension. We are the parents and original. 